To get ready to register the remote, make sure you have a small Phillips head screwdriver. Turn the remote over and unscrew the Phillips head screw in the back. When you have the door off, you'll see the little white registration button next to the red connecting wire. Lay the remote aside. Now you're ready to press its registration button at the right time. Before you register your remote, you must unplug the power to your RedCat access. That helps the RedCat for the registration process. Leave the unit unplugged for 5 to 10 seconds, then plug it back in. Initiate the registration process for the remote by first using a paper clip to press the registration button on the side of the RedCat. You'll see two yellow lights begin to blink on the front panel of the RedCat. Now you're ready to press the small white registration button on the inside of the remote. That causes the light to go on and then immediately off. Now you can replace the battery door and reinstall the screw. Then flip over the remote and push the round center button with the light speed logo. Then press the mute button. It will illuminate, indicating that the remote is working.